Okay, this won't be really hard either. Uh, it's the basics of uh, maths in um, in computer programming, computer science. Um, you pretty much know everything about this, but I'm just gonna show you how it works basically. Um, it's the operators that you're gonna be using uh, for doing maths in programming. So it's very, very easy. Let's start by writing console write line. Start by this, it can be an easy one. Um, first of all, you can do all the basics operation you know right now. So you can do um, 13 times 15 and it's gonna work. You can have the result of multiplication between this or the product. So 195. After you can do the same with, you can add, add them. Like you can subtract them too. And uh, that's not a subtraction, <laughs> subtract it. Uh, and you can divide it. Actually, we're gonna do something that's more intelligent than that. 15, dot, 15 by five, there we go. You can divide that. Uh, the, these are the basics. What's interesting is you can do that with uh, variables, of course. So if you wanna do integers, uh, number one is equal to uh, 70 and uh, int, Come on, and num2 is equal to uh, 865. You can do the same. So you can take num1 times num2. I said num1 two times. That's not a good thing. So I'm not woke up yet. There we go. And you're going to have the result right here. So you can do basically this with basically everything. So it's as easy as it's get. I don't think I can go really much further. The only thing I can show you more is one of the more advanced, but not really advanced um, operators is the modulo. Uh, modulo is pretty easy too, but um, some people get messed up with this. If I take 16 and I take uh, divided by three basically, and I'm saying, okay, uh, I want to divide 16 by three, but I'm with integers. So I cannot have a decimal a result. What can I do with this? Oh, it's basically when you were young, younger, I don't know about you guys, but here where I live, we learned that this way. You had, okay, we have 16, one divided by three people. We're gonna have five for each and there's gonna be one left. The thing we want with the modulo is to see what's left actually. So that's basically important. That is important. And we're gonna use that for um, calculating taxes and stuff or prices uh, with, um, some um, e-commerce websites, this can happen. So if I want to try this, I'm gonna do uh, the modulo sign is the percentage change sign. So num1 modulo num2, uh, it's gonna be the, the leftovers of 16 divided by three. So it should be one. Exactly. So you have the one there. So that's the basics of operators, not more complicated than that. You're gonna see some different in the next videos that's gonna be uh, a little bit more interesting because they're gonna be used to compare some stuff. But uh, when you have some little basic maths to do, uh, these are the mains that you can use. So you can do the same, like if you wanna do it num one times num two, you can put that in parentheses. And you can divide, it's basically algebra. It's basic algebra divided by two. And you can do that. It might not give the good answer now because there might be leftovers. 16.3. Now we should be good. Um, yeah, we should be good. And um, this is supposed to work. And we can do the same like, okay, you want this time this um, plus four. Do the same. There we go. So maths in computer science is pragmatic it's really direct straightforward should have no problem with that so that's it for this one